Hi there, it's Ben Housel here. And in this class, we're gonna have a look at how we create our own custom titles. And in particular, we're looking at how we create a title that we're placing over an image or a piece of video and how we can use a background behind that type to help it to pop out. So this could be a transparent background or a background that darkens the background image, which will enable that contrast between the foreground and background and really allow the text to pop out and be legible. So we're gonna drag these three images that we've got here onto the timeline. And I've picked these out for a specific reason that we'll see as we start to lay some type over the top. So if I just shift and click, I can highlight all of those and drop them down to the timeline. And then I'm just gonna hit shift and Z to bring those to fill the screen. So all these images are the same size. So what I can do now just to get them to, to, fill, to fill the viewer here is I'm gonna to go to my crop options and I'm gonna to go to crop and just reframe these shots so they fill the screen. So I'm gonna do the first one and then I'm gonna to go to edit and copy with it selected and then select the next two clips and then go to edit, paste attributes and I'm gonna paste the crop attributes which is gonna just increase the size of those images, okay? So for this last image of the muscle beds, I'm just gonna go back to the crop and just reframe it so I'm getting that nice shot in there. So let's come back to our first shot. So with this shot, we've got a lot of lighter areas of the image where if we place some light text over the top here, we're not gonna have very much contrast between the foreground and background, and we're gonna look at a way in which we can manage that. And really, the first thing we're gonna do is jump into the generators, and we're gonna to go to our solids, okay, and bring on a custom solid. So this is gonna allow us to blend this layer of black with a type layer on top with the background. And we'll look at a couple of different ways in which we can do that. But the first thing we'll do is just drop some type onto this layer. So I'm gonna grab the type tool and I'm just gonna type in basic in the search down here to bring up my basic title type. And I'll drag that right on top. So obviously with white on black, we have a real nice level of contrast between the, the foreground and background. I'm just gonna change my type here. And now what we'll see if we just disable this custom black layer by tapping V is that the type in certain spots becomes hard to see. Okay, so where it's bumping into the white there, it becomes quite hard to see. So the first thing we can do, if I turn this black layer back on, is just mask out an area which we can then overlay over the top here. And there's a few different ways of doing this, but we're gonna jump into our effects. We're gonna go into our masks down here and we're looking for the draw mask tool. So if I drag this on, okay, with the custom color layer selected, I can now just click a few times. And I can adjust this later and I've got a nice black backdrop, which is letting me see the image behind, but also giving that contrast between the text in the foreground and background. Now, obviously, this is good, but not great. We can uh, adjust this a little bit more. So the first thing we can do is with the custom layer selected, we can jump into the color options here and we can either click on the arrow down here and just kind of live change the color, or we can double click on the color box here and pick out a specific color. Now with the colors panel that this pops up, we can also grab the eyedropper and pick a color from our image. So I'm gonna pick this nice red, okay? And you can see now that we get this nice red which matches some of the background and kind of helps replicate that look and feel of the background. Now we can also use the blend modes so that we can start to reveal some of the background as well, which is gonna add a bit more excitement to this. So if I go to my video options here, scroll down, I can use the compositing here. And if you don't see the inspector across on the right hand side, just go to window and show inspector or command of four. And now we can drop down the opacity to reveal some of that image in the background. Or we can click on where it says normal here under the blend mode and start to use the darken option, the multiply option. And you can see you start to get some real nice fun effects which layer over the top of the layer in the background and actually give you uh, some nice, and that actually gives you a nice look to the image that you're working with. And we can keep moving these around until we're happy with the way that it's set up. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump back to my text. I'm gonna bump the size up a little bit 
and then highlight it once and just move this into position. And I'm happy with that for a first example. So we've used a few different things there, custom color layer, a draw mask, and then also the title on top. So now let's go ahead and go back to our generators. I'm gonna drop this custom generator onto the next brick layer, and then just click it once and press the V key on the keyboard to disable it. You can see it kind of becomes a bit grayed out when we press the V key. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the same draw mask. Okay, and I'm just gonna zoom out to 25% so I can see the edges here. I'm gonna to come to my effects, come to my masks, my draw mask, and then just drop this on. And I'm gonna click like this to add some control points there. And once that's added, I'm then gonna to jump to my video options here where I can see the effect options. And I'm gonna increase the feather there. Okay, so basically I'm adding a feather at the edge here so it's blending into that background. And I can pull these up a little bit. Okay, now if you add too much feather, so I can click over the numbers here and just keep dragging down, then eventually you'll start to feather the bottom as well, which you may or may not want. In this case, I don't want it, so I'm gonna push that back. And then I'm gonna come to my fill and just drop the fill opacity. Now I grab my type. I'm just gonna go to the type from the previous title we set up and hold down the Alt key and just duplicate it across. And now I'll drag this down and we'll change the type by double clicking on it. And we'll just move that across. So you can see here with this kind of very busy background and behind that type, we can add in a layer that just allows that type to stand out a little bit more. And obviously we can keep modifying this until we're happy with the way that it's blending in the background. So we can just increase this until we're happy with it. And then we'll come to our last title here. So here with this last option, I'm gonna click on these two layers and just drag them across by holding down the Alt key to duplicate them. And you can see with this kind of nice image where there's a lot of high contrast, we also get that nice blend between the foreground and background um, that works quite nicely. And we can start to incorporate um, some of this into our design as well. So we can start to work with these masks as we've got them here and add in, if I hold down the Alt key, I can add in new points. And so we can have some fun with this and kind of improve upon our design as we want to. And the nice thing about all these different options that we've got here is really that level of control that we're getting um, when we're working with these blend modes. So for some things, you'll get a nice effect working with light text in the foreground. And you can also work this so you can get some darker tones with your text as well. So that's a brief overview of a few different ways in which we can use overlays, blend modes, and the draw mask when we're adding type over the top of our video, especially when we've got these videos which have a very high contrast. So lots of darker and lighter areas of the image which aren't really conducive to laying type over straight off the bat. I hope this has been useful and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.